So this is a fake NVIDIA GeForce graphics card, something that I didn't realize even existed until recently when I was building a cheap and cheerful office PC. Now, if you want to cut to the chase and see if you've got a fake graphics card, just go over to this timecode point. I won't be offended. So how can you spot a fake card? Now, it's hard to spot a fake before you've actually got your hands on it, but a suspiciously low price could be a clue. So I bought a GTX 1050 Ti for 60 quid on eBay, which was on the cheap side for a new card, but they do go for anything between 30 and 100 pounds. Some of them are going to be new, some of them are going to be used. Once you've got your card, take a look at the back. A genuine NVIDIA card looks like this, and it has a serial number. The one I bought looked good, but it didn't have the usual part number and the serial number system that you normally have with the sticker on the bottom of your NVIDIA graphics card. I even uploaded the image to ChatGPT to see what it thought of it, and it said all of the chips are the ones that you would expect on there, but it had an HZ number, and I'm not sure what that is. So once my PC was up and running with a fresh install of Windows, I noticed that I couldn't set the graphics card display to the monitor's native resolution of 1920 by 1080. The best I could get out of it was 1680 by 1050, which looked awful. I tried the latest NVIDIA drivers, and then I tried some of the older legacy drivers, but nothing worked. Next, I looked at the Windows Device Manager, and I noticed that the display adapter had an exclamation mark, and that's something I hadn't seen before. At this point, I thought it was a hardware issue, and I was getting ready to return it, but then I thought, I'm going to try GPU-Z. So I downloaded GPU-Z from Tech Power Up. The link's in the description. It's free, and it tells you everything about your graphics card. And the very first thing that it told me was that I had a fake. Look at it. The very first line here. Fake. So when I contacted the seller on eBay, I got quite an odd reply and they said, seeing as the graphics card is outputting a signal, would I consider keeping it and having half my money back? So I replied and said, the card doesn't work properly and it's not an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti as per the description. So I got my 60 pounds back and they told me to keep the card and they apologized for the inconvenience and they said that they had no idea it was a fake. I think the card was sent directly from China so I can understand why they don't want it back. So I'm Dylan Garten, that's how you spot a fake graphics card. Now I don't make loads of videos here but I have got over a thousand videos on my other channel, Skill Builder. If you're into building, DIY and home improvement, check out the Skill Builder channel and I'll see you for the next one soon.